Hello everyone, thank you for tuning back in. This is Super Guy KY, and let's get away from lawnmowers. Let's get away from leaf blowers. The channel says technology in the about. So let's do something with technology. It's right here. This is my old Toshiba laptop Snowcats because I went to the University of Kentucky. I was on the Snowcats for skiing and snowboarding. So I've had this for 10 years now. This is a 2012 Toshiba Satellite P50. And that's probably well beyond the actual lifespan of laptops for other people. Not for me because I like to fix my things instead of throwing them away and buying new ones. So problem is the battery on this is completely dead. This is my second time doing this. Let's replace the battery. And right here is all the stuff about it. If you want to read, if you, I'll put that in the description if you care. If you don't, oh well. So basically, what do you need to do this? Well, replacing the battery, you need a new battery, right? So unfortunately, this is internally wired. It's just a plug, really. So it's not very difficult. All of these little pieces of rubber that I have to get off. So I bought this off of Amazon. I'll put it in the description below. This is only about $24, I think. What I think is funny right here, for more information, call blank. Hilarious, right? So let's see what's inside real quick before we get started. Of course, there's the padding. Oh, look, there are instructions that I don't need because I've done this job already. Oh, very good. They actually give you two very small, that's one, oh, that's a Torx bit on the blue right here. Let's open this so you guys can see. Right about there. How's that? This one is just a plain Phillip. And this one is a Torx, very, very small Torx. This one you actually don't need. So I'm gonna put it over here, maybe for different batteries, different laptops you do. And of course the brand new battery. Comes in this little silicone bag, take it off. And like I told you, it's just a plug. Now I hope this connector lines up, we'll see if it does. This looks exactly like the last one I put in here, so I think everything will be fine. But just in case I didn't get any screwdrivers, I had all of these little tiny ones. So let's get started. So first thing to do on this exact laptop when you're replacing the battery is get rid of all these little plugs. And plug here, plug here, plug here. These just small pieces of rubber. Now make sure you keep them because we're going to need them for the next stage, okay? So this little panel right here, you don't need to take it off because when you take all of this off, it comes with it. So there's no need to just do this. This is, I'm not sure what's right under here, but I'm guessing that it's something very important because they made a little panel just to switch it out. All right, so first thing to do, let's get rid of all these little plugs, okay? These big ones right here, these four big ones, don't touch them. We're just getting the small ones, okay? So take a real small screwdriver, flathead. All you have to do is wiggle it in and pry them out. Now be really gentle. Very small screwdriver, okay? Okay, there we go. So you can actually do it. They look like that right when you get them out. You can do it just with your fingernail if you really want to. And underneath, right in there, there is a Phillip head as you can see. So all these plugs, let's go ahead and get them out. That one was, he was difficult to get out, but there was a screw underneath him too. It actually says little number 17 right there. Huh. Wonder what that means. Okay, let's go ahead and get all these little screws out. And 
it's a good idea to put the screw right next to the plug that I took it out of. Okay, that's all of the plugs off. So now this entire back cover basically peels off. And take your fingernail, you can use a small flathead screwdriver, whatever works best for you. I'm just gonna use my fingernail. Slowly lift it up, slowly lift this up. Remember, these aren't meant to be taken apart. Maybe this is the last one right here. You don't want to pry on this hard, you want to be gentle with it. Hey, is that how I did it? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, everyone see that? So right here, right here, putting my finger in, and do the same right here, okay? You do that. It's a good little, it's a good little pop. Nail here. I didn't forget to unscrew one, did I? No, I didn't. So here, walk my way over. There we go. There we go, here comes the whole thing. Okay. So start here, right where the little arms are, or the elbows that lift the screen up. So now, I'm gonna lift this up. Okie dokie. That's what it looks like underneath, in case you're curious. And let's spin this around. Okay, so there's all the innards of the laptop. Your CD drive, RAM chip, that's fan, battery, Hard drives right here. Okay, and here is the old battery that I took out. You can see it is identical in shape and size to the old one. Okay, and the connector. Where does it go? I don't see, oh, is that it? No, no I see why that battery failed. You guys can't, maybe you can see it. There's a big, there's a big lump right here. This battery basically died. Because my, the reason I'm doing this is my laptop would not run unless I had it plugged into the charger. Now that right here, that a sense doesn't work anymore. So let's go ahead and get the battery out. Okay, so there's one, two, three screws holding the battery in. So let's get this out here. Make sure to keep these screws separate from the screws on the back panel, okay? Nope, nope, nope. I was mistaken. There is a fourth right, right there. Okay. Let's get him off too. Number four. Be gentle, of course. Let's see if this will lift up. Right. That's. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, something to make note of. Colors of your wires, especially when you're doing anything with electricity. Make sure the colors of your wires all match up. So here is my new one. I'm gonna just make sure that the red is flipped like that. So all of the leads 
are touching right here, okay? So once again, that's how it came to me, and I need to make sure I flip it, okay? So I'm gonna take the smallest screwdriver I have, which is this one, just gonna barely, barely push this out nice and easy. Careful on the circuit board. There we go. Nice and easy. Real gentle. Gently wiggle it out. And careful on all the other electrical tape. Okay, that's one battery out. Okay, so that is out with the old and in with the new. So I'm just gonna route this. Okay, this little ribbon right here. Be real gentle on that. Okay, now that seat's good. That little screw hole, that lines up. That one lines up. That one right there, that lines up. Don't forget number four up here, and he lines up. Okay, so now I have to route this. Let's scooch that down. Okay, now I have to route this just like that inside of here. Okay, now I have to be really gentle. What I should probably do is do that. Yeah, I wanna do this first and I'll secure the battery in. Okay, really easy, really easy. You can be really gentle when you're dealing with circuit boards and electrical leads. One little screw up on a connector or a lead and you could need a brand new circuit board. Oh, there we go. Okay, now I'm just gonna gently, gently push it in with my screwdriver. There we go, now that is fully seated. Yep, double check with my fingernail. Yep, that's all the way in. Okay, now, move that ribbon. Make sure I've got everything in. Okay, now, I'm just gonna take my four screws that are right here, and I'm just gonna put them back in, okay? Go real gentle. And then right after that, I'll have to find a home for all of these wires here. Take some electrical tape, and make sure they're secured. All right, first things first, I'm not gonna tighten them down. I'll just get them a baby, baby snug. Baby, baby snug, just get those threads started. These two wires here is some old electrical tape that I probably did from the last time I did this. So I'm just gonna leave that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna route these two wires just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna route the existing wire here at the back, just like that. Okay, then I'm gonna just leave that down, okay? Nice and easy. It's a lot easier to curve than to flat Berry wires, okay? Kind of like plumbing. It's a lot easier to just curve it than it is to completely 90 degree it. You should never 90 degree wires. Okay, so I've got a few strips of electrical tape here. All that I'm doing is I'm cutting it lengthwise, okay? Don't cut it this way, cut it this way, because you want, because I'm, I'm confined on space here, and I can do it right here, but I can't do it back here, okay? So I'm gonna do, peel off a little more electrical tape. Okay. Yep. Everyone will say don't do this, but this laptop has lasted me 10 years now, and I think it's okay to do this for another about year.
until I can transfer everything off of it onto a new laptop. Just waiting for a great deal at Costco, then I'll go ahead and buy another one. So I'll go ahead and tuck you under. Okay. So I did that. So I tucked the tape under and then I put it on that wire. See here how it's not holding? See here how it is? I know the tension's a little bit tougher here and it's pointing up, but this will always hold your wire. That will not. Now watch this. Okay, so I'm taking the same tape, same wire, same everything, but I'm gonna run the tape differently. Okay, watch that. Now, that's how I did it, okay? Now it's not perfect, but it's a whole lot better, okay? So, now that's done. Everything is seated, all the wires are down. The only other thing I really noticed, right here is a CR2032 little watch battery basically. I'm gonna replace that too. Okay, so I have a new CR2032 right here. Go ahead and get this one out. I'm just going to pry it out really gently. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, there we go. So this is the original one that's over 10 years old. And this one's going in. Very simple. Right out, pop a new one in. Okay, so let's get this back panel back on. And it'll go on in this orientation, just like that. So this panel is removable, I am guessing, because these are the RAM cards right here. So if you wanna upgrade these, you can just pop that off, easy access, so you don't have to get this whole panel off. Okay, let's get it back together. All right, so here we go. Make sure you have it in the right orientation. So this way is the front screen. Here's the back of the screen. Here's the little elbows right here and right here. So I'm going to pop it back on ever so gentle. There's some little hooks you can see right there, little hooks. Just make sure you try and pop it in just like so. Okay. And a little gentle. Just be gentle. Okay. There we go. And clip it in place. All right. So. Pop. There we go. Now you can start wherever you want. doesn't really matter. I'm going to start from the center and then work my way out. So we'll start with this one. Oh, that's why. So it's lined up, but I have to physically push it a little bit to get the threads to seat. Okay. See that? See the distortion in the light a little bit? So now we'll go to this one. Which is going to be right here. So you have to push it down just a little bit. Not hard. Just, just gentle. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to do... This one. Okay, all the little screws are back in. Now let's get all these plugs back in. So we'll start in the front here. Probably go just like that. Yep, in. I'll go with the most difficult one right here, number 17 they call it. Here we go, he's in. Okay. That's the laptop. All back together doesn't work. No, I'm getting nothing yet. Battery's probably dead. Let's charge it up. Alright, so here's the charger. Let me plug it in. And... Plug it there. 
We have power. If I do this, she is coming back on. So while I'm setting up my laptop, I wanted to say a real quick thing. The old battery and the old little watch battery that I took out of my laptop, you can see right there while the old one failed, it uh, expanded and you can actually see on this side right there, a little bit of that battery actually paste. So these, you can't just throw them away in the trash, okay? You have to recycle them. So either your standard Best Buy will take them, I don't think Walmarts will, but there are certain places to recycle these and certain places to take care of. So make sure you take care of that and do not just throw these away in the trash. No, no. Yeah, so I've got to reset it since I just put a new battery in, but hey, this is real easy stuff. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or if there's something you wondered why I did it, leave a comment below. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And as always, be super today.